Today's incident will wake up your soul. Please watch the incident till the end. In today's video we are going to tell you about a woman. The child that the woman gave birth to after marriage was not a human, but a snake's baby. Watch the full video for details. The story is from my great-grandmother and earlier era. When my grandmother's Jatha got married, the entire village was in a festive mood, because his wife was a wonderful, beautiful and good woman. Due to his simple behavior and devotion, the whole house of father-in-law was flooded with fame. Soon she announced her pregnancy to everyone, sending joy not only to her family but to the entire village. Everyone is discussing only one thing, how these nine months will pass. The months started to pass. In the meantime, sad ceremony was organized. All kinds of food are cooked step by step. Guests move around the house. This is how the happy days were going. One day suddenly came the day of great interest. The day that everyone was waiting for, where everyone was anxious when they would see the little child of theirs, about whom they had woven so many dreams. A daima who has given birth to many children of the village was called. But what is this? The house, which was filled with so much joy, became silent at the sight of the child's face. The mother who is called to be responsible for the birth of the child is also sitting in surprise. What child did he come to give birth to and what child did he give birth to? Is it God's power or a curse? Because the child that is born is not a human child, it is a snake child. Taking the child in her hands, the mother said to my grandmother's mother-in-law, this child is a snake's child. How do you keep it? What will you answer to all relatives? Such a child was born in the house of a Muslim? Do one thing you kill the baby, and let everyone know the baby was stillborn. On this, Dada said, Okay, mum, you hide it from the society. I am going and talking to Kashem's father. He went to his grandfather, and then both his grandfather and grandmother went to their son Kashem. He said to Kashem, you should immediately go with your father and kill this child, Dada said. Go and bring the child from the wife. We will bring him under the ground in the dark of night. Hearing this, Kashem went to his wife Shenaz and said, Give the child. We will bury him. Shenaz cried because she is a mother. She has been carrying her for nine months. She understands how her child has grown little by little in her womb. It is not possible for any mother to rush her child to death in this way. So she pleaded with her husband not to kill her child. He said, I will keep my child behind everyone. I will not let him come out. You convince your parents and inform everyone that our child is dead. Kashem went and convinced his parents somehow because somehow Kashem is the father of that child. They named their child Abu. Shanaz feeds her baby in a cup and one of the room puts her to bed. As time went by, Shanaz got pregnant again. This time everyone was afraid that the unborn child would be a snake again. Everyone started to spend their days in fear. By the mercy of Allah Ta'ala, this time a daughter lightened the house of Shehnaz and Kashem. Everyone was overjoyed to have a beautiful baby girl. Grandmother Meheranessa lovingly named her daughter Ferdus. Everyone's favorite middleman Ferdus is growing up, but he is never allowed to go to the room to play. When Ferdus also went to that room, he was scared to see Abu Dadi said to her grandmother Shehnaz, grandmother, keep this snake of yours away my granddaughter will be harmed. To this, Shehnaz says, Abu Lakshmi is a good boy, he keeps quiet at my one sign, he will never harm Ferdus. Still unwilling to accept the grandmother, he said, no, no, what if I ever hurt my granddaughter? Be careful in advance. Shehnaz said nothing more and went to the room and placed Abu on the bed and said, father, I know you're my child, but even if you are a mother, not everyone can accept you like me. Everyone is afraid of you. So when I am not in the room like Lakshmi boy, how will he go and sit? Don't come out or everyone will separate us both. Someone's voice can be heard through it. Abu Sundar followed his mother's words and sat down on the shelf. Kashem comes in the room. He says to his wife, Amma has judged you. Look, Abu, be careful or no one will be worse than me. Shehna put her husband at ease by answering yes. A few more months passed like this. Shehnaz got pregnant again. This time a son was born in her house grandmother named him Ayub. Now the center of the house is Ayub. Everyone's life revolves around Ayub and Ferdus. Although Shenaz was quite happy with her children, she was also suffering because the first mother who made her was not human, although her first child was an obedient enough child. 
always obey mother's words. As the years passed, Ferdoust became suitable. Now for him, connections come from all over the house. Ferdus's marriage was finally fixed in a good place after taking care. Preparations are in full swing, guests have started arriving. Everyone is very happy, the house's only beloved daughter is said to be getting married. In the meantime, Meronessa called her son and grandmother and said, Look, many guests will come to the house now, people from daughter's father-in-law's house will come, so always try to hide Abu, or you will be in danger. Kashem said that there is no problem, Abu will be hidden. Shenaz and Swami said yes. Wedding arrangements have started. The sound of music is being heard all around. After following some girlish rituals, Shenaz hurriedly went to get milk for the boy snake. It had been a long time since the boy was being fed. In between, a woman suddenly had a task in Shenaz's room, so she went to Shenaz's room. While entering the room and moving the curtain, he saw a big snake. By that time, Shenaz also came there. He came and said, don't be afraid, I will drive it away. You don't tell anyone outside or everyone will be scared. The woman said, Okay, I won't tell anyone but you drive it away, or everyone will be killed by this snake. Saying this, he left. Shenaz got worried this time. In no time, the bridegroom of the girl will arrive, the guest in the house. If by any means her son comes out, then a big incident will happen. If the daughter's marriage is broken, if the girl's in-laws come to know that her brother is a snake. Thinking about this, Shenaz was going crazy with worry. Finally, he went to Abu and said, Look at your sister's wedding today. You must not come in front of anyone else, otherwise her marriage will be broken. I have to go to organize a dinner party for my daughter's in-laws. So I put this thick cloth on him. You hide behind it, no one will come out how. Abu stuck out his tongue and shook his head. Shenaz then left to make all the preparations for the bridegroom. Originally, a special dish was cooked for the bridegroom, called shukrana. Shenaz was preparing for that. Suddenly a child went to Shenaz's room to play. He opened the box containing the sweets. Meanwhile, Abu was behind the box of sweets. Seeing such a big snake, the child screamed in fear. Abu quickly went and hid. Everyone came there and searched around but could not find anything. Everyone says the child must have seen something wrong. Meanwhile, Shenaz is very worried. As soon as Shenaz's mother-in-law comes and says to him, What are you doing here? Go quickly and prepare Shukrana, because the bridegroom has arrived. Shenaz went out in despair. The rest of the guests took Dare and Merunessa outside, saying there are no snakes here. Meanwhile, Shenaz boiled rice for Shukrana and poured the boiling water through the drain. Unfortunately, Abu was hiding in that drain. Abu died there as soon as the hot water fell. Oh, forehead! The child whose mother did not let him go despite being a snake was killed by that mother today. Shenaz still knows nothing. The bridegroom arrived, everyone was entertained, Ferdus's marriage was announced, he was sent away. All the guests left after eating the food. This time Kashem and Shenaz started looking for their son all over the house, but he was nowhere to be found. Shenaz was crying and crying. After some time, Shenaz's younger son carried his elder brother's dead body in his arms. Seeing her son dead like this, Shenaz's condition started to deteriorate. When Ayub took his brother's body to leave, Shenaz tied her son and said, Don't take him, let him stay with me tonight at least. I want to see him alive. I want to keep him by my side. Everyone was moved by her tears and everyone gave her permission. At night, Shenaz Abu's dead body is sleeping with great care. Suddenly he dreamed that his elder son was sitting at his feet. Abu saying, Mother, I am your elder son. Maybe I could not be born as a human, but you have given me the love I deserve as a child. You have fulfilled all the responsibilities. Meanwhile, I am gradually fulfilling the responsibility of being my eldest son. You sell my body, fulfill all your needs. I go to my original destination. He said and left. Shenaz shouted, Abu Abu. Everyone came there after hearing her scream. Come to the room and see Abu's dead body next to Shenaz. Because that dead body is wrapped in gold. Seeing this, Shenaz cried and placed her at her mother-in-law's feet and said, Amma, you could never accept Abu as your eldest grandson, but see how he has fulfilled his duty. In my dream he came, saying he was fulfilling his duty of being his eldest son. Tears are rolling in the eyes of everyone in the room after hearing Shenaz's words. Be sure to give a like to the video, and to get more Islamic videos regularly, subscribe to our Islamic channel and press the bell icon next to it.